Despite the growing popularity of SUVs, there is still something very cool about a station wagon, especially a stunner like this. It's the new Genesis G70 shooting brake, based on the latest G70 sedan. Just one variant is on sale in Australia, featuring the 2.0-litre turbo petrol four-cylinder with rear-wheel drive. Of course, it would have been nice to have the twin-turbo V6 option as well, but we guess beggars can't be choosers. The sole variant is available with the no-cost optional Sportline trim pack though, which gives it a stealthy performance theme, showcasing shadow chrome highlights and a unique interior pack. This test car also shows off the awesome matte grey paint finish, which is a $2,000 option. Being rear-wheel drive means it is relatively light in weight compared with an equivalent SUV. It also brings fun driving dynamics. And to complement that, a limited slip differential is standard, along with head-hurting Brembo brakes. The dark grey wheels suit the vehicle perfectly, we think, and they're wrapped in the outstanding Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyres. They're staggered in width too, with 22540s on the front and 25535s on the back. Seriously, the amount of grip on offer is astounding. Even in the wet, we pushed quite hard around some corners during testing, which we know are usually slippery in the wet. But this thing just didn't budge. Who needs all-wheel drive, right? Or an SUV for that matter. The ride quality is taut, but comfortable enough for a sporty wagon. There seems to be plenty of suspension compression available, so it can easily soak up weathered country roads and back roads. The handling is very sure-footed with all that grip, but it's also precise and engaging. It feels relatively light on its feet, and in general, likes tackling corners with enthusiasm. It also cruises nicely on the highway. Inside, you'll be blown away by the sheer level of standard features, particularly for this price tag. This comes with everything. A nice big touchscreen, digital gauge cluster with 3D display options, a 15 speaker sound system, premium Nappa leather with quilted stitching for the Sportline pack, and lots of thoughtful initiatives that support convenience and practicality. Passenger space is pretty good in the front and about average in the back. The driveline hump seems very large though, which obviously reduces middle seat comfort. Climate vents, cup holders, and a charging port are all standard kit. Boot space measures in at 465 litres. That's a lot more than the 330 litres you get in the sedan. However, if you need more room, the GV70 SUV does present 542 litres. Under the floor is a space saver spare. As for the engine, it is surprisingly willing. It's not the V6, which, yes, is a bit of a shame, but in some ways we think this engine does suit the overall balance of the car. The front end is light, and you can explore the full range of revs before getting into trouble. In-gear acceleration is great, however, we feel like the 8-speed auto does let the team down a bit. It's just not as direct as some of the competition. As a result, cross-country performance feels more exciting than outright acceleration. This is what it goes like 